Hi there, I'm Christian Peter, real estate broker and investor. Today we're going to go through PMI, private mortgage insurance, what it is and how to avoid it at all costs. As a bonus feature at the end of this video, we're going to go over how to get rid of PMI if you've currently got it, even if you put no money down on your mortgage. So let's dive right in. PMI does absolutely nothing for you, the borrower, but is typically required when you put less than 20% down when buying a home. It is provided by a variety of insurance companies and only has one purpose, to eliminate any risk from the lender in case you default on your mortgage. If the value of your home received from a foreclosure sale is less than the amount owed on your loan, PMI will cover the difference so that the lender does not lose any money. Most people are unaware, but there are four different types of PMI, and you should understand that depending on the type of loan you are getting, it may be called different things. PMI for conventional mortgages is added to your loan if you put down anywhere from 3% to 19%. FHA loans require a mortgage insurance premium that is added to your loan in the amount of 1.75%, and the annual premiums will cost you another 0.45 to 1.05 percent depending on the amount of money you put down. The majority of borrowers usually put down the minimum of just 3.5 percent. So you can expect to pay that mortgage insurance premium for 11 years. Not often used is the United States Department of Agriculture loan, which offers a 0% down payment to those who qualify, but they also charge a 1% guarantee fee and an annual fee of 0.33%. Finally, there's the Veterans Administration, or VA loan, which is used by our men and women in the armed services to buy homes with no money down. Most people believe that VA loans have no PMI, which is incorrect. Instead of monthly mortgage insurance, there is an upfront funding fee that is added to the loan and paid back during the entire term of the loan, which is typically 30 years. Now let's calculate how much extra that typical PMI payment would be when added to your loan. But first, please make sure that you smash that like button, as there's definitely a lot more to this PMI stuff than I originally thought. Remember, turn that like button blue. So, say you put down 5% on a $100,000 loan, what would be the typical PMI payment? And if your loan's a lot higher, say $500,000, don't worry, we can just multiply that by 5. As you can see, the extra monthly expense is $59 added to your payment each month if you were purchasing a $100,000 home. Of course, if you were purchasing a $500,000 home, that cost would be multiplied by 5 and be approximately $300 per month. Needless to say, there's no reason to pay that extra $5,540 or any amount per se because the sole beneficiary of PMI is the lender, not you. So how do you get rid of this as quickly as possible? There are three ways to get rid of PMI and the fastest way to eliminate it can be done in just over one year. Why does it take at least a year? Because all lenders require a quote seasoning period before they will reappraise the property. The real reason is that they want to make some money from your payments in the meantime. My real estate advice from over 20 years in the business is to have two contractors make bids for home improvements. Typical improvements like paint, flooring, and other cosmetic are best. Then do the work yourself and save thousands of dollars. Your goal is to improve the property by adding 20% of value through the home improvements that you do. When you reappraise your home after a year, provide the written estimate that the contractors provided, which is typically thousands of dollars more than you spent to get the work completed. But the appraiser will use that to calculate the improved value. As long as the improvements added up to over 20%, then the lender can be notified to remove your PMI. So there you go, private mortgage insurance and how to avoid or eliminate it completely. If you found this information helpful, please subscribe for more incredible content and hopefully the light bulb went off in your head.